Here we have a 1967 Pontiac GTO. It's got a 400 WV engine under the hood, four speed manual, and then a 355 safety track rear end. Uh, this car has got the original paint. You can see it's weathered, it's patinaed. It still looks really cool. I think the car's got a very cool look the way it sits. Um, there's a lot of old original pinstriping uh, etched in there and then it fades in here. Um, the car is originally Fathom Blue. Um, so here's some better areas of the original paint. Um, here's almost like a polished area that you kind of see. It's like a deep dark blue. It's a very rich color. Uh, it looks good. Um, dealing with a blue interior uh, car originally came with a console which is actually in the trunk and uh, there's the four-speed Hurst all the gauges work I'll show you in the driving video um, the RPM gauge is works in and out so that's I wouldn't say that works I should say everything but the RPM gauge works speedometer is accurate um, and everything else uh, the radio however does not again more of that pinstriping Blue interior, this car, this is the original blue interior. This car will need a headliner uh, beyond just a full restoration. The reason I point these things out is I think that people might want to, if it were me, I'd just do the interior of this car and uh, leave the outside the way it is. Um, but we ripped up the carpet out of it so you can see how solid the car is. The carpet was kind of trashed, so it just made sense to give everybody a better look at the floor pan um, from the top side as well um, just to show you what it looks like but all these trim pieces or many of these trim pieces are actually in the trunk uh, including that missing armrest over there and here um, yeah more pinstriping this car had, a, had to look super cool when it was not baked by the sun Lower trim looks really good. Lights work, high beams, low beams. Um, I've put about 40 miles on this car and uh, I'm gonna keep putting miles on it. I really enjoy driving this car. It's super fun. It obviously gets a ton of looks. I just pulled the lights on for you. Um, So here's the 400 WV engine. Six seventy exhaust manifolds on it. Um, here's the body tag. Intake manifold. Um, it's got a hard to read part number. I'll detail these out in the photos and uh, when I get the car on the hoist, I'll do a better job of showing you some of these. So jump to that part of the video um, if you would wish to see all that. 670 exhaust manifold on this one. Um, still got an old stamp there um, on the firewall, like a quality control stamp. But yeah, super solid car. It's got a little bit of Bondo here. Uh, I'm not sure what the story is there, but uh, you know the rest of the car is extremely solid, so I'm not sure why that was um, that way. There are some little pinhole areas back here. Um, on the rear glass, this trim piece is not in there right now. Uh, you can see obviously the speakers are gone in the package tray area. it's got some chipping going on but you can see that they're they're pretty dim but they're on uh, at least that one's not 
three of these are on. Far outside left is not. Um, California black plate, last registered 1978 in California. Show you the trunk and uh, we'll cut to some driving footage. That was a pretty long start, but. Fuel gauge works, water temp, oil pressure. Like I said, all of these gauges work except for the RPM. around underneath the 67 GTO to give you an idea of how clean this thing is um, it's got some surface rust and that's it uh, it's very very nice clean car underneath we've got some uh, seepage going on here from the power steering pump but the power steering pump uh, or the power steering works great the car drives super nice um, looks like they got some sort of JB weld situation going on here on the oil pan um yeah the the car is just incredibly nice underneath uh the body obviously has some dents in it but uh, you know there's no rust anywhere on this car it's really nice so here's the muncie trans um get that number there the tail housing number as well um Give you an idea of everything here underneath. Um, bell housing number. Oops. See, we redid the brake line there. Um, brakes are good. They need a little bit more tuning in um, to be perfect. Anyhow, uh, floors, they are so solid. I mean, this car has, is incredible. All through this area, a couple scrapes here and there, but again, and overall just really, really nice. GM4 link. This is cool. I've looked under a lot of these cars, these 60s, late 60s cars, and uh, GM doing the 4 link back in the day. It's pretty cool. It's the only car I've seen like this. 
Um, I mean, GM cars being the only one with four links. Uh, here's the 355 rear end. You see it's still got a tag on it. Um, date code, part number, and then it's stamped ZH, which means it's a safety track 355 rear end. Again, just give you an idea of how clean this thing is underneath. It's a great car. Incredibly nice under here. Quick look around the trunk pan on the 67 GTO. As you can see, it's like the rest of the car. Super clean, solid, no rot, nothing of uh, any concern back here. The trunk mat has seen better days. It's a little bit, a lot of it cracked and, and dry rotted. Um, you can see underneath that it's no rot, not hiding anything under there. Um, looks really good. Um, and then the trunk lid is better understanding of the fathom blue color. You know, the rest of the car has got so much uh, the sun baked off a lot of the, the real metallic to it, but the fathom blue metallic paint here underneath looks really good. Um, these seals are all dry rotted, but the gutter around the car, around the trunk is really nice. No areas of rot. Um, I don't know if these are, these look to be original to me. Um, I don't know, I'm sure somebody makes a reproduction. I couldn't tell you the difference, but cool to see those still intact. Um, then over here, what was in all the trunk or this stuff. Um, vents, these are kick panels um, with your plunger for your air vents. Um, all the floor plugs, trunk plugs, they're all accounted for right here. Uh, wiper arms, which are missing um, currently on the car. Wiper extra wiper blades. Body by Fisher sill panels or sill plates. Some other pieces of trim molding. Um, these are for the rear glass, the lower portion of the rear glass. It's missing those pieces, so there's that. Rear view mirror. Jack shrink wrap together a little bit um, center console extra piece of uh, interior wood grain there um, this would need to be recovered it's got a little bit of a it's missing some some vinyl there um, the original locks and trunk parts are here um, the missing armrests for the back seat here those panels are the uh, C-pillar interior pieces. And then there's a box just full of uh, kind of random stuff. Um, mismatched light bulbs, pieces, vacuum hoses. Uh, not really sure exactly what all that stuff is. Oh, and here's a box. This is the headliner. Um, given that the car is lacking one, here's a replacement one. And yeah. This all is coming with the car and it'll all be placed back in the trunk.